Hello everybody, welcome back to Cats Up Plays Minecraft. Greetings from sunny South Africa. Today I need a lot of gravel. The reason I need gravel is because I'm doing pathways in the nether roof. Now you might think to yourself, getting gravel is pretty easy, right? But for the amount of gravel I need, I'm gonna have to really work hard. But I thought to myself, why not kill two, or maybe even three birds with one stone? I know that there is a ton of gravel at diamond level, so why not mine for diamonds and look for gravel at the same time? But while we're mining for diamonds, we may as well mine towards something that we're looking for. So I went onto chunk base and I found a stronghold. This will be the stronghold that is closest to us. Now it might be the closest one, but it's really, really far away. So I'm going to be mining towards the stronghold. Gathering as many diamonds as I can find and obviously also getting as much gravel as I can. So I'll cut out all the boring bits. Come along with me. Let's go mining. But before we go mining, take a look at the staircase. It's slightly changed. And I also have a nice new swimming pool that I added here. I can't really swim in my armor, can I? Let's go for a dip. You might also be wondering why I have so few levels. Well, the reason for that is because I have been enchanting my armor with great enchantments. If you have a look here, I have put mending on my helmet and my boots. And that is because eventually I want to have mending on all my armor. But of course, I also want to get netherite to make it stronger. I also managed to get almost the strongest sword in the game. I think if I had sharpness 5, this would be the best sword in the game. So I've got sweeping edge, knockback, mending and looting. So this is going to be a really good sword, very handy to have. I've also been going back and forth to the ancient city, getting a bunch of XP and also getting wool so that I can trade with my villager. And I've also been finding a lot of gold, iron and diamonds in that ancient city. So that's been great. I even decided to go to another ancient city and I got a bunch of loot there, so much that I couldn't even carry it all. So I left most of it there, but I'll be going back for it at some point. You might also notice that I have a little hobby, which is tricking skeletons into shooting creepers. And when you do that and the creeper dies, they drop a disc. I've been doing that in my spare time just for fun. And these are the discs that I have so far. As far as I know, there are 14 discs in total, so I have half of them. But that's enough chit-chat. Let's go mining. Let's see if we get a gas tier out of that. Yes, we got a gas tier. Excellent. Okay, so we're going to start our mining expedition and continue it from the ancient city because this, according to Chunk Base, is the way to the stronghold. Now, it is still about 1400 blocks this way and then about 2000 blocks that way. So we have a long way to mine, but hopefully we get a lot of gravel, a lot of diamonds. And this is going to take me pretty much all day to do, so I'm going to condense it all into hopefully a 30 minute video, so you guys don't have to see all the boring bits. And see, we already found gravel, so let's get all of this and maybe we even find diamonds under here. Okay, so this should be far enough in this direction. Now we're going to move 2000 blocks in that direction. But as you can see, my inventory is really, really full. So I'm thinking, let me run back quickly and drop all of this off and then come back.
another fossil. Look at that. I definitely want to come back for these because I think they look so cool. Ah, oh, did I just break it? Wait, let me fix it. There we go. You didn't see that. Okay, so this is the exact location where we want to be. There is no stronghold over here, which means it must be above us. So the best thing to do now is to just mine a spiral staircase upwards and see if we find it. We have a lush cave over here. But still no stronghold. Okay, it turns out I somehow took down the coordinates wrong, but not to worry, we are not oh, a thunderstorm. We are not far away from the stronghold location, so let's just keep mining towards the right direction. Okay, so this should be the right location. Now let's mine another staircase upwards. We found the stronghold. <laughs> okay, so let's decide are we going to go back and drop off all the stuff I have because I have quite a lot here, and then we could always come back and raid it, or we could even build a portal here and then build a conjoining portal on the nether roof so that we can get here really, really easily. I think let's go back, drop off everything, and prepare for a dragon fight, which we will be doing next episode. Make sure you catch that episode, it's going to be epic. So let's see if we can find the dragon portal. goodness we found it so quickly
it is guys, not one eye, not one ender eye in the portal yet, but we will soon sort that out. So let's mine this obsidian and make a portal so that we can get here quicker next time. And there we go. So let's build a portal right here. And then we have to make a very long walk back to base. And make another portal on the nether roof. And you guys are so lucky you don't have to watch me walk back. It's going to be a very long and boring walk. A little longer than a few minutes later. And we're back. It feels so good to be home. And as you can see, I'm very, very hungry right now. Okay, let's load off all of this great loot that we got. So many diamonds. Okay, I think we have enough diamonds for quite a while now. And this iron, I think most of it I will actually smelt because iron is something we need a lot of. And we've got a fair amount of gravel, which I'm really happy about because I need a lot of that to make pathways. And sand is easy enough to get, but we still have quite a bit of that. Okay, let's go and build our portal and go and raid that stronghold. Now, to fight the dragon, we need some slow falling potions. So let's get this phantom membrane and get brewing on some slow falling potions. We will also need ladders quite a lot of them and then most importantly we will need ender eyes and we need 12 of them so we need to get some more ender pearls and we also need to go and get blaze powder so i'm thinking let's go hunt some blazers wow and there are a bunch of them waiting right here for us that is perfect hello Whoa, guys, look what we got. We got a weather skeleton skull. Yeah. It's pretty hard to get, so I'm super thrilled about that. Thank you, Looting Sword.
58 blaze rods, guys. That is plenty. We won't need more for quite a while. So let's head back and see if we can get some ender pearls. Okay, guys. Well, I am going to go and hunt for some ender pearls, and then we're going to get all the ender eyes we need. And next episode, we will be fighting the dragon because I heard a rumor that he doesn't like the fact that I have a swimming pool. So, yeah, we have to go fight him. See you guys next time. Until then, bye-bye.